Hi friends, I'm Ms. Nicole, and thank you so much for joining me today for Storytime. We post Storytime videos to the library's Facebook page every Monday and Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. And if you would like more storybook content, stop by the library's website at www.findleylibrary.org, where you can find a virtual Storytime page under the Kids pull-down tab. I'm really excited to explore penguins with you today in chilly weather. So, let's get started. Let's kick off story time with a song. I'm a little penguin. I'm a little penguin, two feet high. I am a bird, but I can't fly. Look at how I swim out in the sea. I'm as fast as fast can be. I'm a little penguin, white and black. White on my front and black on my back. Look at how I waddle out to sea. I'm as cute as cute can be. Let's sing and count together. Five little penguins. Five little penguins riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins riding on the sled. So, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little penguins riding on the sled. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more penguins riding on the sled. So, how many penguins do we have left? One, two, three. Three little penguins riding on the sled. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh no! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins riding on the sled. How many penguins do we have left? One, two. Two little penguins riding on the sled. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more penguins riding on the sled. So, how many do we have left? One. One little penguin riding on the sled. It fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more penguins riding on the sled. How many do we have left? No more penguins riding on the sled. some fun at home. This penguin roll and write game is a really fun way to introduce letter identification and writing skills. So I already got started having some fun, so I'll show you how to play. First things first is you go to www.prekindergarten.com to print off a paper just like this, or you can make a grid at home on any piece of paper. Then you want to find some dice. I found this one and I took some dots, wrote letters on them, and then I had to trim them down and put them on here. You could also do that with masking tape. You just want to make sure that each side has a different letter. Then find crayons or pencil and help your child get a good grip. We're going to try to avoid holding it like this and get a great grip to start. So, after you have everything ready, it's time to play. Roll the die and a letter D. And it's a capital letter D. So I am going to take this and write letter D. There it is. 
you continue to do this until all of the squares in your grid are filled up with letters. After that, it's a great opportunity to talk about how often a letter happened. D happened the most here and C was the least. Obviously, once it's more full, we'll have more letters to talk about. Have fun learning together. Let's sing and move together. Let's sing about waddling penguins. Penguins, penguins having fun, waddling in the shining sun, waddling fast and waddling slow, waddling to and waddling fro. Penguins, penguins having fun, waddling in the shining sun. So let's talk about it. Penguins love cold weather, and fortunately, they are designed to withstand the elements. But we need to dress for the weather. So when it's cold outside, layers help keep us warm. Make sure before you send your child out, especially if they are a baby or a very young child, that you dress them in one extra layer more than you would probably wear. Layers are fantastic. Also, dress for the weather, whether that means you need a snow hat, mittens or gloves, a warm winter jacket, snow pants, or snow boots. Make sure you have the right clothes for the right weather. Another thing to pay attention to is, does your child's hood have strings? Are they wearing a scarf? These things are a strangulation hazard for certain children of certain ages, so mind, be mindful of that when dressing your child. Another thing to think about is checking in on your children while they are playing. Are they still staying warm? Have they shed some of those layers? Are they wet or cold? Many children will keep playing even if they are very chilly or their hands or feet have gotten wet. This can lead to hypothermia or frostbite, so it's important to keep checking in with kids and making sure that they're warm enough to keep playing outside. Also, if your child loves to ice skate or snowboard or ski, don't forget a helmet. A bike helmet is a very easy way to prevent accidents and injuries. One more thing is, don't forget to hydrate. When it's colder out, kids lose more water through their sweat and their breath, and it evaporates so quickly you might not notice. So keep offering plenty of water or warm beverages or soup. And most of all, have fun. Get outdoors and have some fun, even if it's chillier. I had so much fun with you today, so thank you for watching and joining in. If you would like to explore penguins some more, check out our Storytime Bookshelf. You can also stop into the library and see us, or call us for more suggestions. If you would like more Storytime videos, check out the library's website, where there is a virtual Storytime page under the Kids Pull-Down tab. Until next time, keep reading! Bye-bye!